How we doing everyone? Hope we're all good. Um, it's a dreary day here in England today, but I'm not going to let that dampen my spirits at all. It is an amazing World Cup so far for England. Unusual territory for an England football fan to be in. The World Cup is going really, really well. England have smashed their opening game, looking good, playing attacking football. And to make matters better, Argentina and the Germans have both lost. <laughs> but on a serious note, I just wanted to take a moment to uh, reflect on what's been a fantastic start for England so far. We've got a, fan, you know, a good blend of experience and youth in our squad. We know that the squad is more attack-minded than defence-minded. That's where our strengths lie. It was good to see England on the front foot in the opening match and really looking to take the game to a run. I think that is a blueprint that England need to follow. If you want a proper summary and reflection on that game, uh, the link to that episode is in the description. I wanted to take a minute just to kind of reflect on Argentina and Germany. Um, there's a World Cup preview show if you want to see our full rundown on those teams. Again, link in description. But yeah, it's great at the moment. Um, England and Argentina and England and Germany have had a fair amount of beef and rivalry in major tournaments in years gone by. With Argentina, uh, it goes back to 1966, where they tried to kick the living crap out of England. Um, and they certainly were deserving of their, of their tag in that tournament as the dirty Argentinian bastards. That was unfortunate because they actually did have a very good competitive team. And since then, obviously, with 1986, Diego Maradona, that first goal, which we all know that that was cheating. Nothing you can do about the second goal, one of the greatest goals of all time. France 98, Diego Simeone, David Beckham, 2002, bit of revenge. There's a bit of back and forth between the two nations. So, um, yeah, it's always good to see them uh, to see them suffer a little bit, just like we have. They recently came to Twickenham in the rugby and won. So it's nice to get a bit of uh, opportunity to gloat. Um, on a serious note, though, Argentina are a very, very good side. They looked a little bit lackadaisical. They looked a little bit arrogant, really, a bit complacent. They certainly underestimated Saudi Arabia. They took that game almost as a training match. It was played at such a slow tempo with no intensity. Full credit to Saudi Arabia. Argentina can't afford any more slip-ups. So I fully expect them to recover, get their focus on. Neither Poland nor Mexico set the world alight in their match. So if Argentina dust themselves off and turn up with the right attitude, I would actually expect them to beat those teams. But it's still good to be able to see them uh, suffer like England fans have for a while. So well done, Saudi, <laughs> to the Argentines. Yes, I, I, I'm well aware that it's a long tournament and the Argentinians may go further than England. But at this moment in time, I'm going to be happy. The German game. Oh, there's nothing better than England doing really, really well and the Germans doing not quite so well. Um, I think the Germans got what they deserved. Um, at the last World Cup, they didn't look like they had the intensity or the hunger or the fight um, in their matches. And the same against Japan. Japan fought for every single ball. They um, harassed and they hurried and they pressed. They had the energy, the work rate. They had the humility to dig their heels in and be an attacking threat. The Germans looked... It was like a pre-season match for them. They just looked like they turned up and expected to win. Um, defensively, very vulnerable. Did not like the uh, Japanese players in their faces at all. It almost had an FA Cup feel about it, with the underdog sort of standing, sort of defiant, cheered on by very vociferous support, which is what the Japanese do. And yeah, the Germans lost. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's very hard not to be smug right now, but, um, England play the USA tomorrow evening. Um, if England win that match, they're through and the Argentines and the Germans have got to win their matches really to stand any chance of going through. It's a great time to be an England fan. If, if Argentina and Germany only draw their next matches, they are in a, a whole world of trouble. If England win, they're through. And I just thought, 
I wanted to do an episode because this is uncharted waters. I'm not used to being in this position where we can almost look down from a position of comfort and satisfaction and see our sporting rival struggle. So I'm going to take this opportunity to be smug. Uh, with full knowledge that probably come the end of the tournament, I am going to be eating humble pie. Um, in regards to the England match, um, it's a full bill of health as far as England are concerned. Kyle Walker was the only real serious doubt coming into the World Cup. His progress, rehabilitation is going well. It wouldn't surprise me to see him maybe come on to the end of, uh, end of the game against the USA, provided England are winning, just to get some minutes under his belt. Um, two players that England had concerns over, Harry Kane and Harry Maguire, have both reported fit um, and ready for duty. Harry Maguire felt a bit unwell, so he was taken off as a precaution, completely recovered. Um, he's focused and ready and fighting fit for the match. Harry Kane had a bit of an injury. I originally thought it might have been his ankle. They've been problematic in years gone by. Turned out it was actually a foot problem. Went for a scan. There's no flare-up. There's no injury. He's trained with the lads. He's ready to go. I'd almost be tempted to rest Harry Kane anyway, seeing as Callum Wilson is fit and ready to roll and looked good uh, in his cameo against Iran. But I expect it to be the same team, probably the same 4-3-3, and I hope England stay on the front foot. Anyway, we'll probably touch base again, all things England, after the USA match. Hopefully it's two wins out of two. And you never know, in the next few days, it might be England through. And Argentina and Germany out. <gasps> Wouldn't that be amazing? Anyway, without getting ahead of myself, um, I'm going to try and not be so smug. And I will catch you all very, very soon.